Did you know that today is International Friendship Day? I did know that. Well, today's good news story of the day, we are going to meet a Texas teen who says the power of kindness has always been a superpower that Sweet. she has, especially uh, so do her best friends, and they've created a way to share that power with those who need it the most. Please welcome Pranavi Reddy. Hi, Pranavi. Hey. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well. How are you? It, we're so honored to have you here. Can you tell us about your initiative, uh, Kindness for All? So kindness has always been a really big part of my life. Growing up in New York, I used to see a lot of people who would just go out and help in the community just to give back to the world. And so that's what really inspired me to start spreading kindness in my community. So in doing and you work so, mm -hmm. go No, go ahead, finish. Please finish. And so in doing so, I realized that kindness was my personal superpower. And when the pandemic hit, there was a lot of uncertainty in my area. And I felt that a little bit of kindness could go a really long way in making this time a lot happier and more positive for everybody. So that's why I founded Kindness for All. And with the help of my best friend, my younger sister, and a lot of my other close friends who are kindness enthusiasts, we were able to grow Kindness for All into a community organization that has had a significant impact on the people all around us. Has it been hard to stay close to your friends during this quarantine? How, how, how have you been um, making do? It has, but because of Kindness for All, we've really had a great platform to bond and connect together. Mm. I think because this is a project that we are all really passionate about, we've had a chance to really learn more about each other and become closer friends in the process. And on top of building bonds with friends that I've had before the COVID-19 crisis, I was also able to meet a lot of new people because of Kindness for All and was able to make a lot of new friends along with everybody else in my community. You now have 100 members in Kindness for All. How do you go about spreading your kindness? So each month, Kindness for All partners with different local nonprofit organizations in our area to bring service projects to our members. And so all our projects are stuff that people can do from their own homes while helping out in the community. Some of our previous projects include writing encouragement letters to women facing breast cancer, thank you cards to volunteers at a local food pantry, and just notes of happiness to cheer up the elderly in nursing homes who just aren't getting visitors anymore. And so for the month of July, we started to mix things up a little bit. And one of our activities was making origami pets for the elderly in another senior home in our area. And we also delivered cupcakes and thank you cards to a lot of frontliners and firefighters and healthcare heroes in our area. You are really extraordinary. Oh, I've got so to tell impressed. you, I know that you're going to be a junior in high school this fall. Um, I hope that you keep doing what you're doing because you are extraordinary. And might I say that of all of our good news stories of the day, you have the prettiest background that you're For standing sure. in front of. Oh, thank it's, you. So it's so <laughs> beautiful. Um, Thank you so much. Thanks, um, and for all of the information for Kindness for All, you can go to kellyandryan.com. Um, Pranavi, thank you so much for being with us today. You can take part in Disney's big celebration of International Friendship Day by sharing photos of you and your friends using hashtag MickeyFriendsStayTrue on all social platforms. Wow, she was impressive, yeah, huh? Yeah, impressed, yeah. How about that?